Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today, I would like to introduce you to a feature of Cloudways. This feature is called staging. Staging, honestly, for me, is one of the most important features that every developer should use and should know about. So what is staging before we dive deep into it? So staging is an environment where you can check and test your changes before you before they go live. What does this mean? So for example, you introduce some changes or, or a new feature for your application or for, for your website. And before this feature or changes become live and available for the end users, you need to test them first and make sure that everything works fine and seamlessly before you move it to production. So this is what we will see together. So here I'm on the Cloudways uh, interface. So the first thing I will be doing, I will log in and then we will move to the dashboard and see what we will do. So let's go in here and let's check the server. So here I have my to-do app server. And as I mentioned the last time, it's very important that if you are in development mode or like testing the features, always think about stopping the server. So as you can see here, the server now is stopped. So let's go ahead and start it. So all you need to do is you come in here and click on these three dots and then click on start. So the server will take some time. It's, it will take about three minutes approximately to start the server. So let's wait for it to start. And then we'll move on to the application in here. And then we will see and start discovering these, uh, this staging feature. All right. So as you can see here, our server is up and running. So now if I go to application, this will point us to our to do application v1 that we created the last time. So if you did not watch the, the previous video, just go ahead and check it first. And then let's let's come back or like you can come back and let's continue together. So I will click on it first. So that here we have the access details. And from here, we can access our application. So if we click on this link, and then I remember we called it uh, sorry, so I guess we called it to do app. So yeah, so to do app, and here we have our to do application and uh, with like light and dark mode, and we can create, um, we can create some to do's, we can delete them, we can mark them as uh, as completed, and so and so forth. So now let's go back in here. So the feature I'm talking about is this one staging management. So when we click on this, so first let's, let's check what is staging management. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So here Cloudway staging gives you an isolated environment. So this is very important. So it's completely isolated environment. So if you make changes, it's not, uh, it's not only, uh, it's not directly going to production, which is this one. All right. So where you can test new code plugins, themes without breaking your live site. So this is what I was talking about earlier. So creating a staging site will create a copy of your live site. Once you are ready, you can push selective or complete changes to your live site with the push of a button. So all you all you need to do is to click a button and then you have everything up and ready. So once you are ready, you can push selective completed with the push of button. As I mentioned, you can also pull from the live site to update your staging site in order to sync it before working on it. So let's first see the benefits or like what comes with the staging environment before creating one. So as you can see here, we have a password protected site. So by default, HTTP password is enabled on your staging environment for maximum security. So you have the option to disable the staging password protection. So the first thing we have this password protected site. So for the staging, it's not accessible unless you put your, your password. And then we have SSH and FTP access. So no more manually copying changes from a test server to production effortlessly transfer changes between your live site and staging with a single click. Also, you have granular control. So you have a precise control over the content and updates you want to transfer from staging to your live site. Choose the transfer only file, uh, only the database or both. So like it depends on what, what you want to do. 
and also we have SSL enabled staging. So SSL certificates are pre-installed on all staging applications. You can use a Let's Encrypt certificate or your custom SSL certificate. So here are the advantages or like what comes with a management or like staging a staging environment. So the first thing we need to do is to click on launch staging environment. So let's select a server. So this is the server that we want to use. So let's we can use the same server or we can create a new one. So let's use the existing one. Let's hit continue and then we need to wait a while until checking all the requirements for the staging uh, staging operation. So let's wait a little bit. And once it's ready, we'll come back and continue the video. Okay, so that was fast, to be honest. Uh, all right, so now we, we are back to the server. And now we are creating a staging application. So then I guess we can click here and uh, view the credentials, but let we, let's wait a little bit until this operation is done. And then we come back and continue. Maybe like while I'm talking, it's, it's too, it's too fast. But anyways, if it takes long, I will just speed up the video and then continue once it's done. All right, so um, just while waiting, let's click on view credentials. So here we have the public IP. So I'm going to copy paste them and put them in a file. So here I will just create a scratch file in my uh, in my IntelliJ. So I will just copy these values just in case. All right, so just don't use them because after this video, I will just delete the server, delete everything. So it what does it really doesn't make sense. So this is the password. So it really doesn't make sense that you use that one because it will not be accessible. All right. So IP and then user and then password. All right. So let's keep this aside and now let's click done. And now let's wait for this staging application to be done. All right. So now our um, our application or like the staging environment is up and ready. So let's here we see that we have two applications right now. So we have this live application and we have the staging application. So if we click in here, we can also like create another staging environment from that staging environment. So let's click in here. And now we need to provide our username and password as mentioned earlier. So let's copy this paste it in here. Let's copy the password and also paste it in here. So let's click on sign in. All right, let's do it again. Username and password. All right, so let's check what is really going on. Uh, so this is the database name. Ah, all right, sorry, that was the wrong one. So this is the password. Uh, sorry, the username and this is the password. Maybe I, I just copy it copied it wrong. Oh, let's copy. All right, and now we have access to our server. And then if we do our to do app, we should access our to do uh, to do app in staging uh, in staging environment. So this is the public IP. And now what we can do, we can we have also like deployment via Git. All right, so we can generate an SSH. We can so this is so to explain before we move on. So here we have our server, and as you can see here, we have two application installed. All right, and then when we go to applications, we see that we have really two applications, like this staging to do app and the to do app v1. So this, when we click on it, as we did before. So here we can update, we can also like pull uh, another changes from like deployment via Git and so on and so forth. Like we did the last time, we can do all the changes and then we can, uh, we can push this to production. All right. We can just switch from this staging environment to the production. So this is a really great feature that really gives you the possibility. So if you want to like, we can also go through the deployment via Git operation as we did the last time, but we, we already did that before. So you can also check it and try it yourself. You can also like introduce some changes uh, to your file or to your PHP application, push that and try to make it, try to make it work and dive deeper into this staging, uh, staging environment. So just to, uh, to wrap up, like, 
As I mentioned, here we have the possibility when you introduce some changes, when you do something, you can whether pull the data from uh, from the live environment to your staging. Maybe maybe let's do that. Maybe let's do that. All right. So here uh, we have the title. So I guess this is the yeah. So this is the production. So we have the to do to do app right here. So maybe let's call this one to do app and then title for example and I will just simply push uh, push this file all right so just let's call it small change and then let's do git commit and push and then push so the first thing we need to do we need to go to not to our staging but to our application so let's switch here and then we can go deployment via git and then we can pull the changes so we can put the changes from here just by only by clicking on this pool and then push that again. So let's try this out. Let's do a pool. So this will check all the data or like get all the changes from our repository and automatically deploy it to the server. And then on the staging environment. So once this once this is done, so let me I will first show you uh, the changes on the live environment and then how we can pull that uh, that one from there. So yeah, I, I think I removed the, the SSH from the last time. But anyways, so we need just to pull, pull here the code and it will be automatically deployed. And then when we go back to our staging environment, all we need to do, go to staging management, you can just pull. So first it will pull all the changes from the live from the live uh, environment. You can test it on, on staging environment. And then all you need to do is just to click the push button. So the push button will push all the changes from your staging environment to your live environment. And in one click, you have all the changes available and deployed immediately to your live or to your production environment. All right, so that was the feature that I wanted to introduce you um, to introduce to you on Cloudways. And honestly, as I mentioned, like it's a really great feature. So like really no headaches to prepare uh, to prepare your staging environment or like creating manually a new one. All you need to do is to go to your application and then just create uh, create a staging environment and you're up and running. So you can, as I mentioned, you can push, pull, you can make the changes, you can, you can align and update it, uh, update your staging environment, uh, as, uh, or like compared to your live one and so on and so forth. So, uh, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And also, if you are not yet subscribed, just hit the, hit the subscribe button, give me a th thumbs up and leave me a comment what you want to see next. So in the next video, it's going to be also really, really important and interesting because we will dive a little bit into monitoring application security and we will have a look at all the different features that we have available within Cloudways. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.